You should know that having an image is a relatively important part of being an artist. And the best image to have is just be yourself, be organic, naturally discovering what clothes you like and what clothes you wear and how you talk, what your slang is, how you pose for pictures, what your art looks like, what your music videos look like. Things of that nature. And no matter what you decide to do, try to be as consistent as you can with it. Let's use 6 9 as an example, whether you like him or not. Rainbow hair, rainbow clothes, rainbow music videos, rainbow merch, rainbow Instagram. I mean, is there anything that he does that isn't rainbow? I mean, the consistency with the way that he brands himself is actually pretty incredible. But the biggest thing is not to force it. If you can't think of an image, then don't create an image that is a false representation or not an organic representation of who you are as a person, as well as who you are as an artist. If you don't like wearing designer clothing, then don't. If you don't wanna buy jewelry or wear jewelry, then don't. If you dye your hair a weird color because you think that it'll make you more interesting or it'll make you stand out, which is a real thing that people think, just, just don't because it'll come off as super weird, not organic, and it'll just look awkward. I made that mistake with pink. I actually really wanted to dye my hair blonde for a long time, but then when I went pink, that was kind of experimental. I thought it would be cool. And yeah, just, it was just kind of awkward. But you can exaggerate some of your personality and maybe embellish a few things just to make it pop a little bit more. Real quick, going back to the 6 9 example, I'm sure that the rainbow hair in the beginning was relatively organic. I mean, he probably doesn't really love wearing rainbow clothes every day, or I'm sure he doesn't really love his rainbow merch, but it just kind of helps his branding. And that's okay. I mean, it's part of it, you know? I know it's a weird example, but you get what I'm trying to say. And I can't really come up with an image strategy for you because I don't know who you are. And like I said, it has to be organic, but I can give you a couple examples of people that I think do it really well and have just a subtle image that's just pretty solid. We'll start with a friend of mine, Savage Gasp. So if you look here, if you look at these six pictures, you can see a lot of consistency with them. He's got the, the anime, the Minecraft, the cartoony fun references in the cover photo of all of them. Also, in almost all of them, he's posing exactly the same. He has a sort of signature kind of pose, at least for his cover photos, and this is something that he has actively really thought about and has tried to do. We'll go to his most recent photo. So obviously he's got the purple color scheme going. He found his favorite Pokemon that are purple and fit the vibe of this photo, which is a trend that he does a lot. You know, consistently matching the cartoon color scheme with the color scheme of the photo, you feel me? But I think that you can kind of get a vibe for what he's trying to do here. He's making it so that you know what a Savage Gasp Instagram post looks like, which goes a long way. Next, we're gonna look at Snot. When you look at all these photos, what do you notice? How about these photos? These? If you guess that he's always wearing a hoodie and it's tied tight on his face, then you guess correctly. Snot has made something as simple as wearing a hoodie an iconic part of his brand. So much that when he takes it off, you can't even really recognize him. And there isn't really a deeper meaning or a deeper idea going on here. He literally just likes wearing his hoodies specifically like that and he does it so much that it just became a part of his thing. And now he can brand that to so many different levels. He can obviously sell his own hoodies. He can tell people specifically where he buys hoodies and get sponsorships from hoodie companies. Whenever people wear a hoodie and they pull the strings tight, it makes them feel like snot. So they'll take a picture of themselves and tag snot in the photo as if, you know, it has anything to do with him, which it really doesn't, but you could see how that expands your brand. Another example is me with the water thing. How I always tell people about water and to remind them to drink water. It started out as organic. I just randomly said it in a video, people ran with it, and it just became a thing that I just kept saying all the time. It wasn't forced, it was natural. I never thought that I was gonna be a water connoisseur, but it's actually organic because it's really all I drink. The point I'm really trying to drive home is just don't force anything. Let it be natural, let it be organic, and if you can't, 
come up with something, that's okay. Because ultimately the music is the most important thing, but it's just something to keep in mind. Thank you for tuning into the Patrick CC Artist Masterclass. Be sure to check out the previous video if you missed it and definitely stick around and tune into the next video because I have tons of great information that you don't wanna miss out on. If you found something helpful in one of these videos, definitely shoot me a DM on any of my social medias and tell me what you learned. And as always, drink water.